cultures use this serial connection to send information from one device to another. From your keyboard, to your computer, from your mouse, to your computer, from your Arduino, to your computer. But what if your computer isn't in the same... If you want to send it between two things that aren't close enough to use a USB cable. USB cables only go up to about 5 or 10 meters before you need to amplify the signal. There's the Ethernet port on most computers, and you can set up a local area network with that, a LAN. So let's say this is the Ethernet port on these bricks, and we connect. And they're further away, they're in different rooms. Now they're connected over distance. And they're already, even though it's just two, it's already a network. And when you have a network, it's kind of like an internet, uh, you can use the internet protocol, uh, which assigns everything in the network a unique ID address. And it does that so that when you send out a message into the internet, um, it knows where to go to. It means you also have to know the address of the device you're sending to, the IP address. Um, so rather than just sending the... the bits of information now out into the network, you, we need to package it in a pot protocol that includes the address of where it is going. And there are two protocols uh, that take care of this transport. Uh, one is called UDP and one is called TCP. I always forget the names of them. One of them is universal something protocol. The other one is tran trans transport communication protocol. The UDP is really great when uh, the information you want to send is kind of constant. Um, let's say this brick wants to let the other brick know that it is what mood it's in and it's constant.